we made a native iOS app huh? with these lines. I don't know, this looks so much better than React. I know that I, I know that I tell you that I love React and everything, but this looks just and it's super super easy, right? Hello everybody, welcome to Nicolas Reviews. This series, this is the first episode of the series where I'm going to try to kind of review frameworks or tools, languages, whatever. Today we're going to start with Swift EUI. So the way that we build applications, native applications on Apple is by using Objective-C, which is disgusting and it will make you hate your life or Swift. Swift is nice. And now Swift UI makes it even better. Swift UI is like the Apple version of React plus Flutter. I don't know. It's just a super good thing. So Swift UI is a framework. Swift is a language. All right. Awesome. So uh, that's basically it. Let's go. Let's, let's build a couple of easy apps, not apps, screens. Um, I'm going to try to explain Swift UI to you from the React developer perspective. This thing that I have here. Um, is the, called the playground, don't worry about it. And about the line number two, don't worry about it. And the line number 10, don't worry about it, okay? By the way, Swift UI is in beta. So that means that we're gonna have to wait for at least five to six months to have a release. There's still many bugs, but I wanted to try it because it really feels like they just copy pasted React and made it beautiful, okay? So let's start. First of all, this is a view. View is like a component, done, simple. These dots view, like colon view that is like the type like in typescript like it's an integer it's a boolean whatever okay var body whatever you put here is going to show up on the screen what does that mean the render method of react same same and here we go we're gonna say hello in our in our nice beautiful thing and here we go and capush say hello to my new friend where are you come on uh, okay cool no done that's it so Instead of doing components with JSX, like React does it, which is like text and like that, we're just gonna do functions. Functions, functions, and more functions everywhere, okay? Let's just start. What I wanna do is create a counter. So I'm gonna say a title saying the number is, then I'm gonna put the number, and then I'm gonna make two buttons, add and minus, plus and minus, okay? okay let's go. So let's, first of all, do a vertical stack. A vertical stack is like a, flex flexbox direction column so that is it vertical stack and here we're gonna paste the first thing not this we're gonna paste text capuche and we're gonna say the number is all right and then let's make another text whoop sorry text capuche and it will be zero let's say it's zero. doesn't matter all right done let's press play and see how it goes the number is zero. As you can see, it's very it's more beautiful than React. We don't have so many things like this and bullshit. It's just way, way better. Okay, let's keep going. So now, what I wanna do is add to this thing, I'm gonna make this maybe font large title and we're done. Now I know you're thinking, what the fuck is this dot and dot and whatever? This is just like props in React, okay? That's it, it's just like props but instead of doing them inside of the component, basically we just add them as a function. Again, this is the Swift programming language. I really like Swift programming language. It's really, really nice. Um, okay, we're done there. View, uh, vertical stack, text and text. How easy it was? Easy for a React developer, incredibly easy. Let's keep going. Horizontal stack, capuche. That's it, we're done. Let's make two buttons, one button. And in this button, let's do nothing yet. All right, and here let's do text. And text will be add. And let's create another button. Uh, remove. All right, now this is not gonna work yet. I think it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, yeah. All right, so now this should show me a button. The problem is that the buttons need actions. All right, let's create a function. You know how we have like state in React? Good, we also have functions that modify the state. Let's do that. We're gonna create a function called add, all right? Super simple function, like that. And a function called minus. 
super simple function and we're done plus here plus and minus very easy and now the button here let's add an action as you can see swift is very sexy because there's a lot of autocomplete and it's just it's just very nice i like it a lot all right and action will be plus very very simple and action here will be minus okay and now this should work let's press play on everything come on there we go and we have two beautiful things add and remove and i can click them i know that maybe you cannot see that but i can click them all right add let's change the names again plus and minus and we're done now this is when swift ui became super cool because they copy the state of react and how do they name it state they name it state that's how they named it state how cool is that? Instead of putting zero here, right? Let's uh, put the counter, okay? So what we're gonna do is forgive me here if you know Swift, I don't care that this counter, counter like this, all right? And that includes the, the variable basically, okay? And we press play again and nothing should change in our life. Done, same, same. Now time to modify the state. How do we do it? Very easy. We do counter equals counter plus one. And counter equals counter minus one. Now, if you tell me that this doesn't look like React to you, then I don't know what to tell you because this is like, it's so easy for a React developer to see this. It's like, oh my God, I know. There's a couple of rules like this one that you're like, what the fuck is this? And there's a couple of rules like this one but look at that man it's so easy come on play this bad boy okay and here we go done beautiful ha awesome no that's it we made a native ios app huh with these lines i don't know this looks so much better than react i know that i i know that i tell you that i love react and everything but this looks just i don't know it looks so much better the code looks beautiful like look at that code it looks so much better so much better. Anybody could understand it. Definitely. Okay. Next example. Let's loop. Let's make a loop. Instead of doing vertical stack, I'm going to do a list. All right. And I'm going to do a list of text that says friends. All right. Let's see if that works. A push. We have friends. Look at that. A list. Look at how easy it is. Oh my God. Okay. We have a list. Done. Now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a struct and that will be friend. Okay, and friend is identifiable. Don't worry about identifiable, it doesn't mean anything, all right? And friend has an ID, which is an integer, and friend has a string, a name, which is a string. Correct? Correct. Done. Now here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do let friends, right? And that is equals to friend, friend. And now what I'm gonna do is create an array of friends, basically. Super easy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And I'm going to just create a new friend. And the ID will be zero. And the name will be Dal. Right. And let's copy this. One, two, three. And let's do one, two, three. And that will be Mark. And here will be Japan guy. And here we will say myself because i am my own friend okay so we have a list this is just swift programming language so don't don't worry about it relax chill out don't worry about it now what we're going to do is list is loop into these items now with react.js what we could have done would have been something like map right now swift is a little bit more complicated but still i want to show you so instead of doing just list what we're going to do is we're going to say navigation navigation view Navigation view. Navigation view is just basically a view where we can navigate back and forward from things. Very easy, okay? Now here in the navigation view, we're going to build a list. But the list is going to be a list of friends. Capush. Very simple. And now here what we're gonna say is we're gonna want we wanna use friend inside of friends. Like for in or like for each in JavaScript, we're gonna say friend in we're gonna make a text just a text just a text just a text 
that says the name of the friend. So it will be friend that name. All right, let's see if I do, if that works. And we press play. Kapam. There you go, look at that. Looping, very easy. Again, if you know Swift, then this will be easy for you. If you know JavaScript, it's just, I don't know, it wouldn't be that hard. It's just a very beautiful language. All right, let's add a title here. How do we add a title on the header? We just do title or navigation bar title. And this will be a text, as you can see, it tells you the type is really cool. And the text is my friends. Capush. And we save. And brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr